In convex geometry, Carathéodory's theorem states that if a point x of road lies in the convex hull of a set P, then x can be written as the convex combination of at most d plus one points in P, namely, there is a subset P of P consisting of d plus one or fewer points such that x lies in the convex hull of P. Equivalently, x lies in an R simplex with vertices in P, where R d Display style r l e q d. The smallest r that makes the last statement valid for each x in the convex hull of P is defined as the Carathéodory's number of P depending on the properties of P. Upper bounds lower than the one provided by Carathéodory's theorem can be obtained. Note that P need not be itself convex. A consequence of this is that P can always be extremal in P, as non-extremal points can be removed from P without changing the membership of X in the convex hull. The similar theorems of Helly and Radon are closely related to Carathéodory's theorem. The latter theorem can be used to prove the former theorems and vice versa. The result is named for Constantine Carathéodory, who proved the theorem in 1907 for the case when P is compact. In 1914 Ernst Steinitz expanded Carathéodory's theorem for any sets P in road. Example Consider a set P 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 which is a subset of R2. The convex hull of this set is a square. Consider now a point x 1 quarter, 1 quarter, which is in the convex hull of P. We can then construct a set 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Topic. P, the convex hull of which is a triangle and encloses X, and thus the theorem works for this instance, since P 3. It may help to visualize Carathéodory's theorem in two dimensions, as saying that we can construct a triangle consisting of points from P that encloses any point in P. Proof of Carathéodory's theorem Let X be a point in the convex hull of P then, X is a convex combination of a finite number of points in P X equals J equals 1 K lambda J X J Display style math bf x equals sum underscore j equals one carrot k lambda underscore j math bf x underscore j, where every x j is in P, every lambda j is non-negative, and j equals one k lambda j equals one Display style sum underscore j equals one carrot k lambda underscore j equals one. Suppose k greater than d plus one. Otherwise, there is nothing to prove. Then the vectors x two minus x one, x k minus x one are linearly dependent. So there are real scalars mu two, mu k, not all zero, such that j equals 2 k mu j x j minus x 1 equals 0 Display style sum underscore j equals two carrot k mu underscore j math bf x underscore j math bf x underscore one equals math bf zero. If mu one is defined as mu one equals minus j equals two k mu J 
Display style mu underscore one equals sum underscore j equals two carrot k mu underscore j. Then j equals one k mu j x j equals zero. Display style sum underscore j equals one carrot k mu underscore j math bf x underscore j equals math bf zero j equals one k mu j equals zero Display style sum underscore j equals one carrot k mu underscore j equals zero, and not all of the mu j are equal to zero. Therefore, at least one mu j greater than zero. Then x equals j equals one k lambda j x j Minus alpha j equals one k mu j x j equals j equals one k lambda j minus alpha mu J x j display style math bf x equals sum underscore j equals one carrot k lambda underscore j math bf x underscore j alpha sum underscore j equals one carrot k mu underscore j math bf x underscore j equals sum underscore j equals one carrot k lambda underscore j alpha mu underscore j math bf x underscore j for any real alpha in particular, the equality will hold if alpha is defined as alpha equals min one j k lambda j mu j mu j greater than zero equals lambda i mu i display style alpha equals min underscore 1 leq j leq k left tfrac lambda underscore j mu underscore j mu underscore j greater than 0 right equals tfrac lambda underscore i mu underscore i note that alpha greater than 0 and for every j between 1 and k lambda j Minus alpha mu j zero display style lambda underscore j alpha mu underscore j g e q zero. In particular, lambda i minus m i equals zero by definition of alpha. Therefore, x equals j equals one k. Lambda J minus alpha mu J X J Display style Math BF x equals sum underscore J equals one carrot K lambda underscore J alpha mu underscore J Math BF x underscore J where every Lambda J minus alpha mu j display style lambda underscore j alpha mu underscore j is non negative their sum is one and furthermore lambda i minus alpha mu i equals zero Display style lambda underscore i alpha mu underscore i equals zero. 
In other words, x is represented as a convex combination of at most k1 points of p. This process can be repeated until x is represented as a convex combination of at most d plus 1 points in p. An alternative proof uses Helly's theorem. See also Shapley Folkman lemma, Helly's theorem, Radon's theorem, and its generalization Verberg's theorem, Crane Milman theorem, Choke theory Topic Notes Topic Further reading Ekoff, J. 1993. Heli, Radon, and Carathéodory type theorems. Handbook of Convex Geometry, A. B. Amsterdam, North Holland, pp. 389 to 448. Topic. External links. Concise statement of theorem in terms of convex hulls at PlanetMath